Three secrets of top performers. Recently, I was reading an article in Wall Street Journal. It was from by an author. This author used to work very, very hard. He used to put 50, 60 hours in a week. And one day he saw his work from a colleague. His her work was amazing. Let's call her Nancy. Nancy work was amazing. So the author of this author got curious. Okay, he thought Nancy must be working more hours. So he went to Nancy desk and checked. Okay, how the Nancy is doing. So he found Nancy has left for the day. So he asked people around him. Where's Nancy? So people told him Nancy comes regular morning, regular nine to five in the day, does her eight hours, and she produces such a more high quality work. So the author of this article did a search. He he went and he interviewed some five thousand engineers, doctors, lawyers, high professionals. So he found out something interesting. What he found out, there was certain three things common to these high performers. The first thing was common to these high performers were they selected their tasks, their cases, their customers, their sales call. So they, they worked on only very few few tasks they put their intense effort high quality effort uh, focused effort on these tasks so of course the, these uh, these guys did a lot more they did a lot a uh, lot more from others because they worked on few things of course, they worked hard. They worked 50 hours. Yeah. Uh, talent, talent, skills matter, but not as much their selectivity. Now it comes to the second point. Some of them said no to their managers. The people who said no to their managers, they scored more on productivity. Of course, you have to be careful how you say no to your manager. Whenever, you, whenever your boss is giving you some work and you are already work, working on work, ask him uh, if you think your current work deadline will be affected. Is this work important? Put the responsibility of prioritization on these people, on your manager. And of course, uh, be careful. We should be careful not to work. This doesn't mean we should work in few things. R remain, our focus remain narrowed. We are working on in working in our comfort zone. Definitely not. So, this uh, we covered two points. High performers selected their tasks very carefully. They were very good with prioritization. Second is they they were able they were able to say no tactfully to their managers. And the third point is they instead of focusing on the goals, they asked them question how they can give high value to the company to the customers. Lot of them, they found out they were doing their goals properly, but things were not happening. Oh, one manager found out he was packaging the boxes, but he found out the way the packages were picked up by the truckers. It left, let, left behind more to be desired. He was picking for one spot. He was not picking from other spot because of the communication gap. And he saw, he noticed a lot of inefficiencies, which was out of his area. So he had a conversation with his supervisors. He made sure the drivers, the package handlers are using walkie talkie to communicate with each other. And he made sure that packages are picked up more efficiently. So these top performers, they added value 
to either their up chains or down chains they they had they understood the workflow which was out of their domain and they helped to optimize the domain they question why we are doing this task this way they ask themselves whether they can simplify the task so in the summary these high performers they prioritize their tasks very nicely they have they they have the courage and tactfulness to say no to their bosses and finally they re, uh, they innovate their work they optimize their work they were the these high performers they were the real architects of their own work thank you very much uh, if you found this video useful please subscribe this channel